you know, fancy food is good and all, but at the end of the day, sometimes all I really want is chicken tenders and homemade ranch. And by the way, I believe I have recreated ranch to a point where it is better than ranch. Not trying to toot my own horn, but seriously, you gotta try this. Now let's go! So here's a nice little trick for tenders if you don't already know it, because they have this kind of big tendon you see right here inside. And I think the easiest way to get that out is just to take a fork, push it through like that so it's flapping out the other side of the fork, grab it with something dry like a paper towel because it's slippery, and then you just pull. And that pulls out this entire tendon perfectly actually. And then here's our tender ready for use. So just repeat that process with all your tenders. Okay, now I'm doing the same marinade that I use for my fried chicken, so buttermilk. This is just such a good combo. This is dill pickle juice, although you could probably use bread and butter pickle juice, it's just gonna be a lot sweeter. Frank's Red Hot, it's gonna bring a little heat into this. And optional, but I'm doing a little smoked paprika. Paprika, I never, I never know how to say it. Just a little in, and I'll just give this a good mix, being careful with these tenders, of course. And now I'm gonna simply cover, put in the fridge for about two hours, because these tenders are so tiny, they're really gonna take to this marinade quickly. So two to four hours, I would say, for this marinade. All right, so I have a confession, and that is I love ranch dressing. Not the bottled ranch, mind you, the ranch that you get from packets and then mix with buttermilk and mayonnaise to make homemade ranch. But a few months ago, I experimented with my own version of ranch, not the packets but using my own spices and mix to make a homemade ranch and let me tell you at a certain point I tweaked it enough where I liked it better than the packet okay pretty standard ingredients here we have distilled white vinegar we have garlic powder we have onion powder we have the salt and we have the MSG and let me explain to you something about MSG and ranch most of the ranch you're eating out in restaurants and at home has MSG in it so you really can't complain there there are ranch dressings made without MSG but the vast majority of them still have it in there that's probably Probably why we all like it so much, right? So I'm using MSG. Then we have a little bit of caster sugar. That's just super fine sugar, but you can always just grind up some sugar or just use regular sugar, it's fine. Then we have buttermilk, mayonnaise, sour cream. And then over here, I've just finely chopped my fresh herbs. I have chives, dill, and parsley, simple as that. If you prefer cilantro as one of these herbs or you wanna take one out because you don't like it, all good. Now, I wanna make sure I don't end up with a lumpy or grainy sauce because some of these spices are still kind of coarse. So here's what we do. Here's the vinegar. I'm gonna put the salt into the vinegar, the sugar, and the MSG, and that's just gonna help dissolve those ingredients into the ranch. Give this a good little mix. The sugar will dissolve quickly first, followed by the MSG and salt. And now here I have a mortar and pestle. I'm gonna put in that granulated garlic because as you can see, that is pretty coarse. The onion powder is really fine, but I'm just gonna go ahead and throw it in there anyway and just grind this up to make it nice and fine. There we go. Okay, I'm gonna start with my mayonnaise here, just going into a bowl, followed by my sour cream. If you wanna do all mayo, you can definitely do that too. I like a little sour cream sometimes, but all mayo is perfectly fine. Now just whisk that a little and we'll just start streaming in that buttermilk. Whisk it all in. Now I'm going in with my spice is here and this is also gonna help thicken the sauce so when you make this it's gonna be a little bit loose but after it sits in the fridge for half an hour to an hour it's gonna really thicken up a lot so keep that in mind and go the spices now in with the vinegar salt and MSG and sugar make sure you scrape that out if it's not completely dissolved yet it will continue to do so and now as simple as can be we add in our herbs in they go one final mix and your homemade ranch is done. Use this for anything you want, salads, dips, dressings, etc. And we're gonna stick this in the fridge where as I said, it will continue to thicken up. Also, if you ask me really thick ranch, well, it's gross, I don't like it at all. You'll see when that thickens up, it's just perfect. I think it should be a little bit drippy. I think it's nicer. But to each their own, obviously if you want it really thick, add less buttermilk and more mayo. All right, back to the chicken. It is now done doing its thing. What I need to do now is dry off these tenders really well. So I'm gonna drag them along the side of the bowl and then just drop them onto some paper towel. Now we'll get these nice and dry. Now we're gonna go for the old flour, egg wash, and panko bread crumbs, starting with the flour here. And I'm just adding onion powder to it. That dehydrated onion taste is just incredible for me here. Give that a little whisk. And then of course, just some egg wash. That's just two eggs, I just whipped it up. And last but not least, panko bread crumbs. Pretty much the only bread crumb for me. So here we go, flour first, coat it up, shake off a little excess into the egg wash. Wash, coat that up and then run it off the side like that a little bit and then straight into the panko. Yeah, coat these up and I like to just push 
just a little bit on it, not to break the meat, but it just really helps that panko get in every little nook and crevice. And there we go, tender, ready to rock. Before we cook this chicken, just check out the ranch after an hour and see just how much thicker that is, right? For me, this is like pretty perfect. But again, if you want it thicker, just add more mayo, but that's plenty thick. All right, so I'm just gonna shallow fry these. You could deep fry them if you want. You could try air frying if you spray a bunch of oil on them. But I just brought this oil up to about 375 degrees. It's about a half inch layer just sitting in the bottom. All right, go ahead, drop your chicken. Always lay it away from you like that, like so. And don't overcrowd the pan. I'm just gonna do one more in here. There we go. These tenders are, well, tenders. They're gonna cook really quick, right? So I'm literally doing two minutes and we're about to flip them right now. All right, that's good for me. Go ahead and flip, nice and golden brown. And now you can see right when you flip them, they really wanna take this salt. So I'm just putting on the salt now, even though it's still in the oil. All good, it's really gonna stick right now. It's a little sprinkle of salt, that's it. All right there, another two minutes for four minutes total. And we're gonna rest them for about three minutes. Hello, my friends. I'm very much looking forward to eating you. God, that looks good. All right, let's get into it. And here we go. Oh. Woo! Come on. I've been a professional chef my whole life, cooked so many fancy things, foie gras, truffles, all that stuff. I swear I enjoy this just, just as much as any of that. It's just so freaking good. The tender is so tender. And the ranch is like, I swear to you, make this ranch, you're gonna like it better than any kind of bottled for sure and also store-bought packet. Mmm. It's just like, kids food dream. Mm, mm, wow. Well, my sweet friends, thank you for hanging out with me again today. The next time you'll be hearing from me, I will be in Austin, Texas. I cannot wait to show you the new kitchen. This new space I have is unbelievable. You know, the kitchen I've been in is not exactly great for YouTube, so I'm really excited to share this new space with you. We're about to take this YouTube channel to a whole new level, mark my words. And as always, drop a like, leave a comment if you so wish, and turn on notifications if you want to be a psycho, and we love our psychos. And until next time, you know I love you. What am I?